I don't think that anyone necessarily wants to go to an asylum, but if you did have to go, there are a few that should definitely be blacklisted. Here is our list of the top 5 scary asylums people can never leave. Number 5 on this list is the Rolling Hills Asylum. Located in East Bethany, New York, this asylum will suck you in and never let you out. Thrillist says, more a stockpile of outcasts, the poor, the widowed, the orphaned, the handicapped, the criminal, the alcoholic, than an insane asylum per se. The former Genesee County Poorhouse, established in 1827, counts over 1,700 documented deaths. Some are convinced that's a lowball number and hundreds more were buried on the property in unmarked graves. Paranormal activity in the 53,000 square foot building includes screaming, doors slamming, and apparitions, most famously of Roy Cruz, a seven and a half foot giant who died there in 1942. There's also something known as the Shadow Hallway, so named because of the shadowy apparitions that peek out from doors or shuffle and crawl across the corridor. A variety of ghost tours are available. These shadow creatures, the ones that pass through the shadow hallways, they apparently aren't the friendliest of creatures from what I've heard. Lots of people who have gone into this place never make it out again. It's thought that this is the work of the shadow creatures here. Then the person who is sucked in by those creatures becomes one of the shadow creatures there as well. Meaning that this asylum is slowly growing in its sinister and evil presence. Who was the initial shadow creature and why these beings have manifested here is unknown. All we know now is that they are here and they are here to stay. Which ultimately means that you need to stay away. Number 4 on this list is Narenturm. So this is a weird and unique one for sure. It actually isn't an asylum anymore, and it's also not abandoned, which makes it pretty unique for a list like this. Currently, it actually serves as a museum, believe it or not. Thrillist says, it's unclear what's worse, the surely morbid history that took place in Vienna's Fool Tower, Europe's first insane asylum built in 1784, or its current use, the Anatomical Pathological Museum, which features more than 4,000 graphic, gruesome abnormalities, jars full of deformed fetuses, and sickening wax models of untreated STDs. Either way, there's enough nightmare fuel in this place to last you until next Halloween. Nightmare fuel is an excellent way to describe this place. It's messed up for sure, guys. I don't know if you're going to get into a position where you won't be able to leave this place, but you definitely will be feeling weird for sure based on what you're looking at. Untreated STDs and deformed fetuses. No thank you. Not to mention this place might actually be haunted. This was the first insane asylum ever in Europe, guys. Just think about what the conditions would have been like. Conditions in mental hospitals today are still not super ideal, but back then you would have been treated horribly. Back then they would have treated you worse than a criminal and probably tortured you until you couldn't take it anymore. There are reports from olden asylums where they would just shove people into tiny little boxes and keep them there for days. Obviously, the people who had to go through this, their spirits have never been able to rest or find peace. So along with the STDs, you might also get haunted as well. Great place this is. Number 3 on this list is Lear Sikanus. With a name like that, you can just assume that it's going to be haunted. Thrillist says, about a half hour from Oslo, this asylum was opened in 1926 and today is considered one of the most haunted hotspots in the country. Despite its reputation and the fact that most of the place has been abandoned since 1985, parts of it still house psychiatric patients who share their space with ghosts, shadows, and odd noises. Between 1945 and 1974, the hospital was notorious for conducting experiments on its patients, especially the testing of new drugs that even the pharmaceutical industry was hesitant to try on humans. 
I don't know where and when people thought that testing already mentally sick people with questionable drugs was a good idea. It seems like this is something that happened a ton in history and I have no idea how anyone thought this was a good idea. Like first off, they're already sick and going through something, so it just doesn't make sense how feeding them something that we know nothing about is going to give the desired results. The people who used to do this had to know it was wrong because the patients at this hospital weren't really given any choice in the matter. They were forced to go through these experiments which often resulted in permanent damage to their bodies, if not death. Those who had to go here from the 40s to the 70s literally could not leave. They were stuck here, and they just had to pray that they didn't get the worst of the experiments. Thank your lucky stars that you didn't have to go to this place during this time or you would never be able to get out. Number two on this list is the Pool Park Asylum. This asylum in Wales has been abandoned for over three decades now. Atlas Obscura says, like any good abandoned asylum, damp, dilapidated, and deathly silent. The estate of Pool Park began as a deer park for the nearby Ruthen Castle. Following its time as a hunting ground, the property was passed between a series of wealthy landowners. The elegant mock Tudor style manor house that still stands today was constructed in 1862 for the second Lord Bagot. In 1937, the house was sold to the North Wales County's Mental Hospital, which was in need of a second location to house overflow patients from the nearby Denby Insane Asylum. Pool Park held 87 patients at capacity, but in times of need, had as many as 120. For a brief stint of time during World War II, the grounds also held a prisoner of war camp. Today, the solid wooden floors and intricate wood paneling have rotted due to water damage. The house has been looted for lead and copper and its ceilings are dripping water and shedding plaster. You'll be hard pressed to find an intact window. This was a smaller asylum than some of the other ones on this list, but don't take that to mean that it wasn't as bad or brutal. People suffered here, just as much as in the bigger asylums. It was just a bit more personal here considering there weren't that many people. It also wasn't just mental patients who suffered, but as you can probably imagine, the prisoners of war didn't fare too well either. There were definitely a few disappearances, if you will, during that time of the asylum's life. Now, people are free to come and go as you wish, considering the asylum is abandoned, but there are a few ghosts that are fully trapped here. These ghosts are of mental patients and war vets alike, and they are forever bonded to this place, forced to live in this horrible purgatory. You probably don't want to visit this place for fear that they could keep you there with them. And finally, number one on this list is the Creedmoor Psychiatric Center, Building 25. High probability that if you got sent to this place, then you are never getting out again. Atlas Obscura says, opened in 1912, Creedmoor State Hospital was initially the farm colony of Brooklyn State Hospital, now Kingsboro, with 32 patients who worked the farmland as part of their treatment. Like many other similar institutions, over the first half of the 20th century, the population at Creedmoor rapidly expanded before deinstitutionalization occurred beginning in the 1950s, at which point the hospital shrank from 8,000 to 500 patients in the span of only four decades. The 1970s were a rough time for the hospital when crime infested the campus. Three assaults, 22 violent assaults, 52 fires, 130 burglaries, six people taking their own life, a shooting, and a riot occurred within 20 months of each other. It was around this time that Building 25 was abandoned. Never sold off or demolished, it has been rotting on the hospital grounds since it was vacated in the early 1970s. Yeah, so with everything that went down here, I think it's pretty clear that if you got sent here, odds were not in your favor. These were all things that happened outside of the asylum too. Inside the asylum with the patients and everything, you had the same sick experiments and treatments going down as some of the other ones on this list. Thank goodness it closed down and it isn't operating anymore. But there you have it folks, that is our list of the top five scary asylums people can never leave. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other crazy asylums that you guys know about. Also please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host Nicholas Playlog and I'll catch you next time.